There's no way that you're going to be able to make it in this life without having that connection with the Lord. One thing God will do is he will protect his people. They're going to want to see you at your lowest. They're going to want to see you broken down. They're going to want to see you at the worst place because they have the enemy on their side, but you have God on your side. God has not forgotten about you. I want you guys to understand that a lot of things are not in our control, but they are in control of the God that we serve. And if we serve a God that is in control of all things, why do we worry? Why do we doubt? A lot of times I get a lot of messages. If you guys don't know, I take open prayer requests 24 seven. I get a lot of messages and um, I'm not going to expose what's the content in the messages, but I will say um, the enemy is really attacking marriages and he's really attacking the dynamic of our lives. Through our lives and through our daily habits, those things are going to severely influence our relationship with the Lord. Like. It's time for God's people. When I'm speaking to you, this may be your situation. Woman of God, it's time for you to get in your word. It's time for you to stand in the gap for your marriage, for your relationship with the Lord, for your children. It's time for you to get the armor and fight. It's not that we're going to know all the answers. It's not that we're going to know every single revelation to every dream, to every vision, to everything. But it's that we're going to walk in faithfulness to God because he will reveal things to you through your obedience, through your connection with him. There's no way that you're going to be able to make it in this life without having that connection with the Lord. And a lot of times that connection gets broken because the enemy put in your mind like the Lord is far from you or God is not pleased with you. And let me tell you something. The Lord loves you and he understands your heart and he sees those who are being faithful to him in the little in in not much he sees your heart and so I want you to understand that God is with you and the Lord gave me this verse and I just felt his spirit so strong and I knew that he wanted me to share this because for a while I'm just like God what do you want to say to your people like I love being used as a vessel like to speak specifically into certain people's lives and I'm like Lord what do you want to say to your people and this this is where God brought me to. Okay. So here we go. So this is Proverbs. This is Proverbs. Um, this is Proverbs. I'm sorry, guys. This is Proverbs 3 21. Okay. It says, my son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you. So do you understand that wisdom discretion that's going to be like life for you if you don't have wisdom if you don't have wisdom it's like you don't have life that is how already this verse the word of god is aligning wisdom with okay with life it says verse 22 they will be life for you an ornament to grace your neck then you will go on your way in safety D, and your foot will not stumble so this is what wisdom is doing wisdom is going to allow you to go in safety and your foot will not stumble this is why the bible also says my people perish for a lack of knowledge wisdom knowledge we need it guys we need it without wisdom you have nothing God is wisdom. God is light. So you have God, you have wisdom, but you have to seek it. You have to seek it. So listen to this, guys. Verse 24, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. Have no fear of sudden disaster. Have no fear of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. 
guys this is just such a strong word even like for this hurricane that just passed and one thing I say was not a single thing happened to our home I mean there's houses around our neighborhood that the trees fell out branches all sorts of things everywhere and our house was literally untouched one thing God will do is he will protect his people. He will keep your enemies in a place where they are just going to be dying to see you fall, but they're not going to, they're not, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They're going to want to see you at your lowest. They're going to want to see you broken down. They're going to want to see you at the worst place because they have the enemy on their side, but you have God on your side. And so you need to act as such and you need to remember that we serve a God. We serve a God who is literally giving us the instruction. The instruction is to have wisdom, seek wisdom and knowledge, which means to seek God. He is wisdom. He is love. He is life. So when we seek that, we have life too. It, we can't just come into this thing and call ourselves a Christian, but not seek the kingdom of God, not seek his word, not seek the light, not seek the truth of God. Because when you do that, you're an easy target for the enemy. Easy, easy target. So I'm making this video and I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about this, guys. I'm passionate because I am tired of seeing people who do not know how to stand their ground, who do not know how to move in true, in true battle, in the spirit and in the physical, who do not know how to carry out their Christianity the way the Bible says because they never opened the word of God. I'm telling you, it's time that you get to a point where you like, I'm all or nothing, Lord. I'm all or nothing, all or nothing. Because the weak, the, 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 the flexible Christians that like to flip flop, that like to play around with the world. Ooh, do I have a stain on the carpet? I don't know why that distracted me. Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> um, the, the weak Christians, the Christians that like to conform to the world, the Christians that want their message and that want their, 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 uh, the, what they portray to be loved by the world, those are the Christians that are going to take that mark. Those are the Christians that are going to deny Jesus. The Christians that are too scared to speak truth. The truth that's in the word. It's time. It's time to transform your life. And it's time to let the word of God transform your life. You will not be ensnared by the enemy. You will be protected. You will go in safety. Your sleep will be sweet is what the word of God says. So if you're experiencing anything but, that is because you're not walking in wisdom. You're not seeking wisdom. So I'm going to leave you guys with this. God bless you guys. I love y'all so much. I hope that this definitely, I know it spoke to someone like it spoke to me. I mean, I was in absolute tears when I realized what, what all the worry can, can one of you add a single day to your life for worrying is what the word says. No, you can't. We serve a God that is in control of everything. God bless you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.